Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp in a Box. Today we're going to make some bubble solution and some easy bubble wands. For this activity, you're going to need some dish soap, corn syrup, and warm water out of a tap. I have a measuring cup to measure everything out. And you also need some pipe cleaners. You're also going to need a container with a lid that you can mix everything in and store your bubble solution. Optionally, you can mix everything in this container and then transfer it to a container that's easier to pour out of. Some good options could be a drink dispenser from Walmart like you would use for lemonade or sun tea, or you could even use a large laundry detergent bottle that has a spout. Pictures of these two items are included on your instruction sheet. Now you're going to want to go get four cups of warm tap water. It's important that the water is warm so it can melt the corn syrup. Go ahead and mix that in while the water is still plenty warm using a rubber spatula or a mixing spoon. If you have one on hand, use a rubber spatula to make sure you get all of the corn syrup out of the cups that come in the kit. The corn syrup is really important because it will help give your bubbles more strength so you can catch them and they'll stick to surfaces. If you're using a shallow mixing bowl like I am, make sure that you mix slowly so water doesn't splash out of the sides like you're seeing here. Also, be sure to rest your spatula against the side of your bowl at an angle that it doesn't slip down into the water and get all wet and sticky. Check to make sure that all of your corn syrup is dissolved by feeling around the bottom of your container. If it's still syrupy, you'd have some more mixing to do. If you're good to go, set your spatula aside and get ready to add your dish soap to your solution. When you're adding the dish soap, you need to go in very small quantities and stir slowly so that you don't create bubbles on accident. I tried to do about five to eight little pours out of each of the cups of dish soap. And even then, I still got some bubbles. It's really important to use something like a spoon or a spatula during this mixing. If you use something like a whisk or a fork, It'll incorporate more air into your mixture and create more bubbles. Like with the corn syrup, use your spatula to scrape out any last little bit of soap that's in your cup and then gently add it into the rest of your bubble solution. Also, don't throw these cups away. Keep them on hand and rinse them out so you can use them as little portion cups for your bubble solution once it's had time to settle. Remember to watch where you put your spatula so it doesn't splash into the water like mine keeps doing. Repeat this process until all of your dish soap is mixed into your bubble solution. dish soap has been added to your bubble solution, set your spatula aside and stack up all of your cups to rinse out and use later. By portioning your bubble solution off into these little cups, you lessen the chance of your main bubble solution getting dirty with grass or dirt or whatever else your bubble wand might come into contact with. The next step is to go ahead and close up your container and wipe it down if you were a little messy like I was and set it aside so you can make your bubble wands and let the bubble solution settle. Now it's time to make our own bubble wands. Grab one of your pipe cleaners and one of your empty cups to get started. Using your cup as a guide, bend your pipe cleaner around the bottom of the cup to get a good idea of how big your circle needs to be on your bubble wand. Then turn the end of your pipe cleaner into a loop and use the remaining edges of your pipe cleaner to twist it around itself to secure your loop. Once your pipe cleaner is all secure, go ahead and put it in your dry cup to test for size. If you need to change the shape, you go ahead and do that now. 
Once you're satisfied with the size of the loop on your bubble wand, go ahead and take that cup, fill it up with some bubble solution, and start blowing bubbles. You blow bubbles with this bubble solution and bubble wand just like any other. So you press the bubble wand into the solution and gently blow to make a bubble come out of your bubble wand. Not only is blowing bubbles one of our favorite outside activities at the park, we also use bubble solution to help our campers calm down during summer camp because you have to be able to control your breathing in order to successfully create a bubble like this one. If you guys had fun making bubble solution with me today, I definitely took this batch home and used it at my apartment. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!